Welcome to another edition of the Mark Ballard Show. I have a very special guest right here today. The Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. They're in the building. We're here to uplift everybody. And uh, mainly the young brothers and the OGs and whoever needs encouragement. We are here for y'all today. Could you introduce yourself, young man? No doubt. I'm Captain Sapaya of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commanding General Yohana. I'm Officer 500 Aisha Allah of the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohana. And I'm Officer of 50 Mazabak Yaala of the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohana. All right, y'all, we about to get busy right now. Okay, um, we are here to uplift the community, the young brothers, sisters, whoever need to hear it. We're here to uplift everybody and let everybody know that we, we are here for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, brother, can um, you tell us what uh, the uh, SPUPK stands for? ISUPK stands for Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. What is the uh, UPKS about? You know, we are, in a nutshell, we are a licensed nonprofit organization that teaches the Bible. And we've been doing this since night. We was um, doing this since 1969. You mm. understand? And we teach that so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the true biblical Jews of the Bible, and that our oppressor is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Absolutely. Um, see, right now we're talking about um, mental combat. Mm -hmm. um, people going through um, spiritual and mental problems. And they have no way of sense of turning, of direction, or where to go. Um, can you give elaborate on that, please, sir? Um, uh, I guess we can speak on the mental mental health uh, yeah. aspect. In the black community, black, Hispanic, and Native Indian communities, um, we deal with a lot of untreated trauma. Mm -hmm. You understand the way the way we behave, the way we act is. A lot, a lot of it has to do with untreated trauma, how we grown up, slavery, you know, all of these things. We haven't been diagnosed with any proper, uh, uh, you know, medical professional mm -hmm. to tell us that we got issues in our head. You understand? Do you think most of us are, are, are like, have this this problem, post traumatic stress disorder? You think that's a part of the community? Yeah, that's part of it too, and a lot of other things also. Yeah. But what a lot of people, or what a lot of spiritual leaders or uh, so-called mentors don't do is tell these brothers and sisters to go, to go see a doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't do that. They give them a, a bunch of mumble jumbo and motivational speaking and all this garbage, which doesn't get to the root of the problem. You need to go see a doctor. You need to go see a doctor, sit down with a shrink, and maybe you should also get some goddamn pills. Eat, uh, eat them... Um, with the Adderall or uh, Prozac, you know, those things work. Some people need to be on some type of medication. Don't be scared of the doctor. I ain't gonna hold you. I've been you know on meds for like 12 years. Come on now. And don't it helped scared. me out a lot. And you see the difference, don't you? I mean, it's good, to, it's good to get that special treatment if it's necessary. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, and if I could, Mark, a, a lot of brothers need to hear that because of... A lot of brothers and sisters are untreated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everybody calling each other crazy, but ain't nobody going to the crazy doctor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just basic, basic, basic information. And also, along with that, they'll get counseling. Mm -hmm. They'll get counseling from a priest, counseling from a school that's also necessary. You know, oh, that's what the school offers? Yeah, we got counseling. We okay. got counseling for young brothers, young sisters that's going through issues, having problems. But you should also go see a doctor. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Um, my heart goes out to the teenagers, the ones that's going through um, emotional stress and cutting, and it's it's just it's just a lot. But I just pray for these kids, man, and whoever's going through that type of uh, situation, man. Um, go see a doctor. Go see a, a a a therapist or something. Get some type of guidance. You need that type. In your life, you need that. You need that in your life. Ain't no, and listen, ain't no shame in it. No, it's not. I go to a therapist. I've been going for about twelve years. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And and it's done. It's doing me well, and you can see the results. Those who you know know me knows that I was in a spiritual darkness for a, a long time. 
I had to uprise myself and fix myself for myself. You know what I'm saying? So you could do the same too. Okay, we can get to the next question. Uh, what can we do about uh, to better our society, ensure a brighter future for our children? What can we do to, for a better society? I'll I put it this way. We have to, this society can be changed. I'll let you know that now. Mm -hmm. But there's a society, society that you can join and be a part of and grow. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a society that where's, um, where there's no child molestation, where there's no trauma, where there's no school shootings, where there's nothing like that. Mm. You know, that society, the blueprint to have that society is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You understand? And here in the Israelite School of EPK, we follow that book. We follow that document. You understand? And that's how we build a better society for each other. Now, everything outside of us, that's another story. That's what everybody else do. But as far as blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we got to build our own society. We can't worry about changing everybody else and everybody else's ways, but we got to get back to our moral code, mm -hmm. our moral standard, our, our law, statutes, and commandments. And that society is the, is the world that God loves. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I really feel that the children that's that's under that need to need that guidance. I keep saying it over and over again. We definitely need that guidance. Adults, children, men, women, and children, they definitely need that. Um, some type of orderance. You know what I'm saying? It's like some type of old. Uh, um. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> some type of order. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We definitely need some type of order. Uh, without that, it's going to be a disarray. It's going to be all messed up out here. And, and, and Mark, can I give you a better word than order? What's that? We need rules. Ooh. We need rules. Good, rules good. that govern us mm -hmm. and the society that you that we want to change or have a better future they are becoming ruleless huh. a society without rules a society where you can call yourself whatever you want to call you can take any drug you want to take you can you can literally do whatever it is your heart desires yeah absolutely. and you mentioned earlier about spirituality and we, whenever you want to speak on that uh i'm ready whenever you we can speak on that right now you know what I'm saying? Because we got plenty of time. We got about 20, about 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, no, yeah. so, okay, the UBK stands on spirituality. Now, let's talk about, um, okay, spirituality. You got to look at the flip side of spirituality, mm -hmm. which is carnality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Carnality is what we desire, what we lust after, what we what we desire, what brings us pleasure. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know Drugs. Partying, uh, revenge, everybody want to It's like a desire to be against somebody. These are the things that we desire. It's carnal. It's tangible. It's physical. Absolutely. Now, our spirit, so-called spiritual leaders and the people that we look up to are carnal. They're not spiritual. Spirituality is what God wants. That's right. Rather than what we desire, what brings us pleasure or what have you. Right. That's spirituality. Spirituality, like we get confused, like especially in today's society, we want to get with the crystals and the and the tarot cards and into the these motivational speakers. Like these preachers are just motivational speakers. Mm -hmm. They make you feel good. They say what you want to hear, you know, and then they dim the lights, you know, and it's a, it's a feel good thing. It's a motivational speaking. Mm -hmm. That's not spirituality. You understand? You're still free to roam and to do whatever you want to do without those rules that we talked about. Mm -hmm. Without those commandments that we talked about. Because this, that ain't what God wants. Spirituality is what God wants you to do. He wants us to follow those law statutes, those law statutes and commandments. That's rules. That's it's actually there rules. You go. That's spirituality. Absolutely. It ain't nothing spooky dooky, crystals and, you know, crystal balls and, you know, you're energy and higher self and all that <laughs> that's a bunch of theatrics man that's true facts it's a bunch of theatrics let's get down to the facts about it let's uh get back to that code that we need mm -hmm. that moral compass that black blacks hispanics and native american indians need mm -hmm. rather than just feeling good all the time keep on elaborating you know what I mean? keep going also yeah it's not feeling good you know just seeking whatever we 
whatever makes us feel good, you understand? Mm -hmm. Rather than what does God want us to do? Because that's why we're here. Absolutely. That's why we're in this society mm -hmm. <laughs> that we're trying to continue trying to fix, but God doesn't love this society. Mm -hmm. Like I, A lot of Christians go to the scripture, John 3.16, about God loves the world. God doesn't love this world. He doesn't love this age and society with this rampant homosexuality, this rampant hypersexualized society, the drugs, the murders, the crimes, the corrupt politicians, the you know, every, every negative aspect of, of this society that has become normal. Huh. You think God loves this society? Absolutely. They not. say and they say God bless America and all this matters. No. No, we looking towards that society where there's structure and laws and rules and you know well we ain't trying to fix everything that's the world that god loves mm -hmm. you understand that's the age and society that we want absolutely you know what I'm hey i'm telling you now mm -hmm. it's heavy it's got to be it's got to make sense mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so uh what programs do you have uh what, what what programs do the school offer? Man, we got we got a bunch of programs, man. And look, before I get into the program, here in the Israelite School of EPK, we pay our tithes. Mm -hmm. And those tithes, they go, they go into a, what the Bible calls it a storehouse. Mm -hmm. You understand? And in that storehouse, we take care of the people. You understand? Mm -hmm. We take care of the brothers and sisters in the school. You understand? TDJ Scruffle Dollar. Jamal Brown, all these big time preachers, they storehouses just they pocket. They just getting down. They get they buying planes and mm -hmm. mega churches and doing their thing. Yeah, but it's brothers and sisters are starving out here. Really, you understand? Know Literally, you know, getting a red notice and we have got to get evicted and all these things like that. But that storehouse, if I could just elaborate on programs, funds our programs, mm -hmm. full drives, closing drives. Uh, housing, but just to elaborate on those programs, full programs, housing, clothing, you know, for brothers that, that are in dire need, uh, housing, and also that prison program. I want to speak on that a little bit more. Yeah, the, yeah, absolutely. I was getting to that. Uh, if any brother or sister uh, is in prison or know somebody in prison needs some, wants some literature, you know what I'm saying? We write brothers, we visit prisons. You understand? We teach. We got brothers in this school in prison. That's right. You understand? In prison, incarcerated. You understand? You are not forgotten. You are a brother. You are a sister. You are more than welcome. You know what I'm saying? We understand that the world has forgot about our brothers and sisters that are incarcerated, but not here in the Israelite school of UPK. You understand? Just reach out. Reach out. If you need a brother in there that needs some some, some books or some literature or some, some uplifting, man, we're going to write that brother. We're going to write that brother. We're going to write that sister. You know what I'm saying? We're going uh, we to come together. In this. Can you give them your, uh, your your address, your email address, and the phone numbers? Oh, yeah. Just go to um, isubk.com. All the information on all our programs and the various cities that we in are online. You understand that? isubk.com. You can find everything there. We all over the world. New York, Baltimore, Eastern Shore now, um, Florida, Haiti. Jamaica, I mean, UK, Canada, I mean, the list goes on. So reach out to the closest, um, you know, city near you. You know what I mean? We be there. We're going to pick up. Absolutely. You know I mean? We're going to pick up. Prison program talking. is on there, too. You know Go ahead and keep elaborating and keep talking to the people back. We definitely need that encouragement and that positive energy. And, okay, listen, and again, all that information is on that website, isupk.com. We are all over the United States. It's ridiculous at this point. I, I mean, I can't even keep up with the amount of schools, you understand? But we all over the place. Contact the school if you want some some real truth, some real wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because we got classes every day. We got classes literally every day of the week, especially up here. Um in Baltimore, we got classes here on the Eastern Shore mm -hmm. for the brothers down here. We on the uh, Queen Anne, what is the Queen Anne's Library? Princess Anne. Princess Anne, Princess Anne Library on Hello Wednesdays. Hello Hello we got camp down here in uh, Ocean City. 
Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we moving. You understand? So make sure you had that website up. You know what I'm saying? Get get to a get in class, man. And the classes is online too. Oh yeah, uh, the water. Uh, and the uh, if you can't physically make it, listen, ain't no excuses because the classes is online. You have Zoom Zoom meetings we too. We got Zoom. We got uh, Google Meet. We got all all of this stuff. You can actually participate in our Hebrew, we got Hebrew language classes. Mm. We got Hebrew language classes where you can remotely participate. We got power uh, black economics classes for children. Mm. I mean it's a it's a plethora of pro programs and classes. We got a and you speaking to the younger brothers, we got a class dedicated to brotherhood, brother. Every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We got a class dedicated to history. We got classes dedicated to brotherhood. We got classes dedicated to those rules, those law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. A law class. We got a scripture breakdown class that gets a little bit more intricate on things that we don't understand about the Bible. Mm -hmm. Certain verses, certain chapters, certain stories. To get a clear picture of what we have been taught wrong in the Christian church and the Muslim mosque. Friday, like I mentioned earlier, we got a... Uh, Hebrew language class. Mm -hmm. Saturday we got a Sabbath service, and we got man a bunch of radio shows, a bunch of podcasts. Yeah, man. So yeah, we moving out here. You keep know keep, 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 keep talking. Keep talking. Let the world know what's going on. No doubt. And also, the EPK is famous for street speaking. You understand? Huh. We we coined that. You know what I'm saying? You should thank Commander Yahana because there wouldn't be a lot of brothers out here speaking freely. Because we've been to the highest course out there speaking on them corners. Mm -hmm. And they've been trying to get us off them corners, but the Lord's word is, is coming to the people. Yeah, we them, them cats in, in the black, in the fringes, in the head back. That's the EPK, you know what I'm saying? Since 1969, you understand? Mm. You know what I mean? So look, again, man, come with it. You know what I'm saying? Come with it. And look, this word ain't going to stop. This word ain't going to stop. And look, it's brothers and sisters in the school. You sisters come up in the school too. You understand? Pay your tithes. <laughs> you understand? ISUBK.com. You understand? You can get right with the Lord too. Get righteous and become new again. That's what it's about. Actually, no, understand these scriptures and really get into the word and really understand what it's talking about. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of these churches don't really elaborate on what these scriptures is really truly about. Mm -hmm. And it's it's I, I think it's a real problem. They try to sugarcoat everything and try to make everything look like it's it's you know what I'm saying. You know our God is like a, a, you know what I'm saying. You already know what He is. He's a consuming fire. So he's, right. there's nothing soft about God. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, it, it, yeah. I, I feel y'all guys because <laughs> y'all definitely break the scriptures down. And uh, I really, I really appreciate the, that type of uh, energy that is, you know, for the people and all that stuff like that's good. That's a, that's a heavy point you just made. Mm -hmm. You said the Lord is not soft and he's not. But the Christian church and all these um, false religions, false teachings or what have you, they didn't make God soft in their, <laughs> in their teachings. <laughs> No, like, like literally. It's true. And this is and this is one reason a lot of brothers and sisters don't go to church or don't want to go to church, which is right. You should not go to church. Enter at you know own risk. Okay? It's a dangerous place. They didn't make God saw when in the Bible it says God is a man of war. Mm -hmm. You understand? Christ himself was a uh, was a hardcore brother, very stern brother. Yes, he was. And they make him to be like they, they you type in God and Jesus on Google right now. They're gonna show you a picture of a obese white man and another man naked touching each other in the clouds. Hmm. Now show me that depiction hmm. in the Bible. It's not and also uh, you said the clouds in the cloud in the clouds touching each other. It's a famous picture. Yeah, I've seen that. Also too. with naked white babies. Yeah. None of these things are in the Bible. None of, but these are images and when we think about God and when we think about Jesus, we think of that. Why? Because that's what the oppressor has pushed onto everybody in the earth. He didn't deceive the earth. Can and you then tell them, people can think you that. Tell, can you, you tell the I mean? can you tell the people who the who the oppressor? Where did it originate it from? And uh, what country it originated from? The oppressor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm put it to you like this. 
The oppressor is the so-called conquistadors, the so-called slave master, the so-called um, pilgrim, the so-called colonizer. Those, that's the oppressor. Mm. You understand? And you can, you know, you can dial that up however you see fit. But those people on the earth have deceived the rest of the earth like they're the good people, like they're the hero. Like they, you know, got the answers. They have the answers or what have you, which is not the case. You understand? And those very deceivers have deceived us that made us think that, you know, we're not special. We're not chosen when, when in fact that we are. How do you yeah, feel about the? About them? I'm we about to get real deep. How do you feel about that Willie Lynch letter? The Willie Lynch letter? Mm 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 mm. It's still working, ain't it? Listen, they listen, man. They didn't. They got. They crafty with it. Mm -hmm. huh. They crafty. <laughs> listen, all and the things I'm saying is in the Bible. Mm hmm. Crafty is in Psalms eighty three. They crafty and sorry and um. Suppressing and oppressing. That's what they did. You understand? Keeping us in this box. Keeping uh, keeping us on that hamster wheel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's that's the thing. That's what we don't recognize and understand. But you know, we rather go to city council and be a part rather than to be our own. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Like these like these politicians and and uh, religious leaders. You know, they really dropped the ball in leading blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You know what I'm saying? They didn't let us into a place where we don't even have an identity. We calling ourselves, uh, I mean, I haven't seen, like, we don't even have an identity. While we, while, and we backing up America, and we so patriotic, and we African-American, and we all these other things, but what the Lord called us to be. You understand? And that's because we oppressed. Why did why why do they people want to debate when it comes to the Most High? It's just it's 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 just confusing to me because it should not be a debate about God. It's only one God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And people try to actually get attitudes with you huh. when you actually put the truth out there for them, and they can read it for themselves, and they just don't want to just hear the truth at all. Listen, it's just like the LGBT community. People can't accept facts. You understand? They want to live in their own desires. They desire desire to bow down to a rock. You know, that's their carnality. That's not spirituality. They want to call a man want to call himself a woman. You know, come on, man. It's the same thing. They don't. We don't want to live by facts. We want to live whatever we think in our mind is correct. Mm -hmm. And then not only that, everybody has to agree to it. You have to agree. I have to agree. We live in a. We have to. I have to agree with your religion, and your religion cannot be against my religion. It should be no debate <laughs> when it comes to God. Anyway, I just don't understand why it should be like that. But that's the way society is, and it's wrong. It's nothing right about that, for real, for real. But look, yeah, it's only one God, you know what mm -hmm. I'm and that's the Most High, the Bible, Yahweh, and the Hebrew. You know what I mean? And, they t and, and really, a lot of these religions, they don't have a choice but to tie their religion to the Bible because their religion doesn't hold any weight without the real true God. So they are like, I hear um, Muslims reference the Bible more than they do the Quran. <laughs> Why is that? Because their religion, their uh, philosophy doesn't hold any weight without the one true power. You understand? So they try to spin it and tie it in together like it's related, but it's not. So did they, didn't they say that uh, every book, biblical book, has been tampered with except for the Quran? Mm, that's what they say? That's what they say. Well, I'm going to let you know this. The King James Version of the Bible, 1611 version, is the most accurate translation to date that that's a damn near copy of the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, you want to you want to talk about the Quran? Show me one prophecy in the Quran that came true. Now, now we can really talk about something. These prophecies in the Bible have come true, 
and are coming true to, to this day. You understand? That's facts on that. Our oppression, our slavery, what's to come, wars, all of that, that's in the Bible. It's the reason why everybody's attracted to this to this document. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It ain't just because, it's because it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth, isn't it? Everybody's wound up about the Bible and what it talks about. You know, what it's about, and the truth is in it. And you can find the answers in the Israelite School of UPK about that book. Right. Scripture breakdown. We'll break it down to you. Okay. Now, we can read sign out, y'all. I mean, because uh, we can go on and on for hours about this <laughs> whole conversation right here. And once again, this is the Mark Ballard Show. We have the Israel School of... The Israelite School of UPK. And uh, we... Hey, I like to send a special shout out to everybody who's tuning in. And um, Rap Fiend Radio, Pack 14. Everybody, you'd like to send a shout out real quick before we depart? Uh, if I could, uh, uh, shout out to Israelite School of UBK. Shalom, Yabashim Yashukta. Yahu Shamal Atam, Bashim Yahushah. The Water Commander, Yahana. And all the generals and the captains and the troopers. You know what I'm saying? Officers and the troopers. Uh, officer. You'd like to say something? Mm -mm, uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? Like you say something? La shalom. <laughs> shalom means what? Shalom means peace. Peace. Shalom. That's how we do it every week. <laughs> every week on the air. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>